In this video, we're going to be going over the top four mysteries in Red Dead Redemption 2. We have the serial killer mystery solved, a second UFO sighting, along with man bear pig in a creepy house, and the ghosts in the swamps. Stay tuned. What's up guys, it's Roll Easy here, back with another RDR2 video. The top four mysteries running through the UFO sighting, following up with the second one is what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, before we get into that though, make sure if you're brand new, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. So here is the exact location of the first UFO sighting. Now, you want to come here during the day first, just to actually get the full experience. Now, come here during the day, and once you actually enter into this little house, you're going to see that there's a bunch of dead bodies that are just laying on beds. They're basically just skeletons at this point. But there's a bunch of stuff in there to loot, so go ahead. There's actually a card. These are called cigarette cards. You can collect that. Under the chimney, there's some rum. You can collect that as well. And on the desk is probably the most interesting thing, which is a document. All right, it's a letter. And if you read from the beginning there, it says the second hour under the half moon. Now, what that is, is 2 a.m. So you want to come back to this location at 2 in the morning, all right, to actually see the UFO. So you can go ahead and set up camp and then wait till nighttime. Once you've done that, enter back into this area and go ahead and look up and you'll see that the spaceship will appear. Now you can shoot at it, do whatever you want, nothing will affect it. Just pretty much marvel at its glory and you know, watch it disappear just like that. So that's the first UFO sighting. But here is the second UFO sighting. So you want to go over to this mountain and you want to be on this peak, okay? Now there was a reference to this, to this mountain in that letter, uh, if you actually read through it, Mount Shan, all right? So you want to go to this peak at this very location on the map. And once you do that, and I almost missed it here, once I back out, take a look. You're going to look over there in this direction and you'll actually see the second UFO sighting. Now, it's small because it's super far away, but if you take out your binoculars, it'll give you a little bit of zoom, but too much zoom will just make it blurry. And you're going to see that right here. So this is the second UFO sighting. If you want to go and experience this for yourself, you have the location right there. And uh, I was having really, you know, a good time with it until I decided to take a selfie and it disappeared. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I knew what I was doing. But yeah, guys, that is the second UFO sighting. Really, really cool. And we're going to move on to the second mystery of the video, which is the serial killer. Okay, so we have solved the famous serial killer mystery in the game. And this one is very, very unique because it's actually kind of like a side mission. All right, it's a side mission inside of the game. And this is the first location that you want to go to. And you can do these first few clues in any particular order. There's three clues that you want to go ahead and grab. All right. And they don't have to be in the order of the video. Wherever you're closest to, you can start there. But this is the way that I recommend actually doing it. So you saw the location there on the map. If you move over here, you're going to see a severed leg on the ground, uh, a bunch of blood trails leading up to this area, which the camera will actually change and focus in on the dismembered body that is hanging there under the bridge. All right. Look on my works is displayed over there on the rocks. And that's obviously the serial killer trying to send a message as well as this right here. So if you want to inspect, well, you should inspect this part because you do need each document. All right. Each part of the map. So out of the severed head, take out the map. And once you open it, you'll see that it's actually a third of the map that we need in full. OK, so there is a front side and there's a backside with a message. And to actually uncover all of that, obviously you need to find every single map, which there's only three of them. So we're gonna get into the second one right now. Now this second one is pretty much, it's it's not too far from here. You're gonna see, I'll show you on the map here in a second, you know, once I cross over the water. And right over here, you will see on this rock, another dismembered body. Now here's the location on the map so that you guys can know. I'll zoom all the way out and I took off the index. Thank you to one of my subscribers for letting me know about that. So yeah, this is the second clue that you want to find another dismembered body. And on this rock, it says, do you see? So obviously another message that, that the serial killer is trying to send us. Now, if you go over to the left, there's another rock and there's another dismembered head, of course, because that's kind of this guy's signature. And you want to go ahead and take out the second clue, which is the second piece of the map that we need. So on this one, we're going to see the same thing, basically just the middle or, you know, other half of the actual part of the map front and back. It will connect completely once we find that third part. All right. So here is the third part and its location. You want to go over to this area, pretty much all the way on the south side of the map, even more south than St. Dennis. 
All right, so head over to this area and you're going to see much more dismembered parts, you know, many more dismembered parts on the ground, as well as this little tree with these giant vines coming out of it uh, and tree trunk. Look at this tree trunk, man, it's massive. <laughs> but yeah, so keep walking over here and now you're going to discover the third dismembered body from the serial killer. Okay, and on the tree trunk, it says behold. All right, so obviously this is this guy's signature. He loves doing this stuff. Walk around the tree trunk and you will find the third piece of the puzzle. All right, which is another dismembered head with the third part of the map. And this one will make it full. So we'll be able to see the full message, the full map, everything. All right, so once you've collected it, you will actually be able to open up your satchel. So first, I'm just going to show you this quarter of the map, and there's a clue on there, actually. There was a code. If you saw right there, you're going to need that code later. I mean, you don't have to remember it. Arthur remembers it for you. But that code right there will come in handy with the next part of the video here. So I'm just going to show you what you can do here at this point. You want to go ahead and open up your satchel, and all three parts of the map will be connected. Okay, so just go ahead and select that and he'll open it here and you can see everything. So as you can see, there's a combination there. It shows some trees. It's basically kind of hinting where all of this is at. And on the back, it says, can you find me? And of course we can. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right. So this is the location where the serial killer is hiding. All right. It's right below Valentine. All right? it's, it's funny. We went all around the map just to basically go right back to Valentine. Uh, usually that's how it is in movies with these serial killers and stuff. They're usually right in your backyard, basically. So, yeah, right through the forest in that location that I showed you on the map. And just like it said on the actual map itself, you'll see this weird little rundown house. And there's going to be some doors that actually lead down to the basement. Okay, so as you can see right here, here's the doors. And remember how I said that there was a combination? That's the combination that Arthur's going to put right now into this safe so that he can open up the basement. All right, now I'll let you know at this very moment, I'm not spoiling anything for you guys. Those of you with Red Dead Redemption 2, you need to experience this for yourself. It's really cool, it's a side mission and I'm not big on spoilers either. So I just wanted to uh, to kind of tell you exactly how to get here, but explore the basement, pick off, you know, get some things in there and uh, you'll see what happens next, okay? Okay, so moving on to the man bear pig mystery, you're going to go to this location on the map. It's all the way on the east side. You can't miss it. Really easy location to actually find. Now, what you're going to come up on is this creepy yellow house, okay? So this house right here, you know, taking a look around, every window and every door is basically boarded up. Okay, so super creepy at first. Looks like you can't get in until you look up there on the second story. One of those windows is actually completely open. And as you can see, conveniently enough, there's a bunch of stuff that looks like it's easy to climb up on to, uh, to get to the location. So I'm going to climb up these crates, get on this little roof, and I'll be able to easily climb up into this window and actually see what's going on in this house. And the first thing you see is basically a weird lab, a table with straps, and man bear pig, or what seems to be something like that, you know, being hung by ropes, okay? So this thing has got how many arms? What is that? Six arms? Uh, six arms, two feet, it's got a boar's head, it's got wings on it, some really, really sick creation that some weird scientist guy probably did. All right, and uh, yeah, I think he's actually still here. I think there's more to this mystery. This mystery is not solved yet, but if you walk around, you can collect various letters and uh, various notes. They're actually experiment notes, and they're all about the experiment and what they've actually used to construct this monster. Okay, so this one right here, kind of shows you it's basically like the main first note and we're going to zoom in so that we can actually read uh, what it says and if you read right over here it says the creature is ready parts are currently on ice prep for surgery any day now immensa creatura all right so immense creation is basically the translation that i can grab from that Obviously, it didn't go so well because it doesn't look to be living, but who knows? This could be some Frankenstein stuff where this thing just needs to be like jolted and come back to life. All right. You never know with Rockstar why they've actually put this in the game or it could be absolutely nothing. But anyways, we're going to move on to the final mystery. It's in this location, basically over in the bayou where all the gators are. And this one is very, very new. All right. A bunch of, you know, not many people have really covered this one, but this is the ghost in the swamp. Now. This is the first thing, once you go to that location, the first thing you're gonna see are a couple X's. 
in this location and you're actually going to see that there's some you know there's some dead bodies right up against the trees now right up against the trees uh, you can actually collect this one. You can pick and examine it, but mine got glitched out, I think, with the horse. So it's not letting me do that. But anyways, I got the sound on right now, and you're going to actually be able to hear what's going on, uh, you know, in this clip. And I'm basically going to go silent so that you can hear what this girl is saying and everything that happens. Easy. <laughs> You can be so unkind. So very unkind. It ain't like that. It ain't like that at all. And just like that, she's gone. All right, so tell me that was not creepy, okay? <laughs> tell me down in the comments what you guys thought about this video, what you thought about these mysteries. Uh, you know, one of them is solved, but there's a few that are unsolved, okay? So I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with. My name is Roll Easy. You know, please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications, like my videos, do all that stuff. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.